Breaking point. What if we could bottle a star on Earth? In October 2025, Japan's National Institute for Fusion Science, or NIFS, announced a historic milestone at its large helical device. Scientists there sustained a plasma at an astonishing 120 million degrees Celsius for several minutes, a duration that is an eternity in the world of fusion physics. To put that in perspective, the sun's core is a mere 15 million degrees. Led by Professor Masayuki Yokoyama, a leading authority on stellarator plasma physics, the NIFS team used a sophisticated system of AI-driven magnetic fields and advanced superconducting coils to achieve this record stability. This wasn't just a lab curiosity, it was hailed by energy analysts as the closest humanity has come to practical fusion energy. The news, released from Tokyo, spread like wildfire across global news wires, instantly shifting the conversation around fusion from a distant scientific dream to an immediate and disruptive technological force. For the first time the promise of clean, limitless energy felt tangible, forcing the world to ask a critical question. Did Japan just ignite the beginning of the end for fossil fuels? This achievement demonstrated a level of control that many thought was still decades away.